talking about big baby fighting on Friday. Yeah. He's been very, very active. He boxed on October the 20th, yeah. and he boxed on November 17 as well. Mm -hmm. And we were looking at putting him in here. Um, because we made that decision probably like two weeks out, no disrespect to the guys that we were talking to, but we didn't really have guys who made a match-up particularly exciting. Gotcha. A couple of those guys got turned down by the commission, who were undefeated, by the way, um, just because they felt like they weren't of Miller's standard. Mm -hmm. And then another guy that got mentioned was Joey Dueco, who's actually got a draw with Jarrell Miller. Wow, okay. But he's a guy who's extremely tough, extremely durable. Mm -hmm. He went 10 rounds recently with Jennings and 10 rounds recently with Pedersov. And I think Jarrell just looked at it and sort of said, look, do I want to be in a scrappy 10 rounder against this guy when I'm trying to campaign for a fight against Joshua and Wyatt? You know, it's a time to raise his stock, not deplete it. Mm -hmm. So if he doesn't get the Joshua fight, He'll go in February at the end, and then you know he'll look for a big fight after. So like you just so if he doesn't get the fight, well the fight is not on, and so you're saying yeah, Jarrell, despite what people think, Jarrell has not been made an offer to fight Anthony Joshua. Why is that? Because we're not close to that fight. Because Joshua has asked me to focus on three people in is... this order: Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, Dillian White. Jarrell Miller. In that order? In that order. Okay. Right? So to clear so, up everything so we in haven't that order. Got, we haven't got to that stage. Gotcha. Okay? So really, I don't want to make Jarrell an offer until that's a realistic possibility. Mm -hmm. I'm not asking him to hold out. Like he, could, he could go off and take another fight. 